Are you utilizing your company's match? A company match is an employer contribution amount which is calculated per a formula based on an employee's income and what they contribute to their retirement account. This is an important retirement plan feature that you should be aware of and take advantage of if possible. It's important to remember three main things regarding your company's match. One, how it works. Two, how to maximize the benefit. And three, the role that taxes play. When your employer's contribution is in the form of matching contributions, you will need to contribute to the plan to receive a contribution from your employer. This means that your employer contributes annually to the plan based on the amount of your contribution to a maximum. The amount contributed by your employer is based on your compensation and the matching formula for the plan year. For example, Kathy earns $50,000 annually and decides to contribute 6% of her pay to her retirement account, or $3,000 per year. Now suppose her employer matches 25% of employee contributions up to 6% of salary. In this scenario, the match would amount to be $750, and added to Kathy's contribution of $3,000 would lead to a total contribution of $3,750 for the year. In a plan with an employer match, consider the employer contribution amount as free money being added to your retirement savings. In the above example, Kathy didn't leave any money on the table and maximized her company match by contributing 6% of her pay. Two of the things you can control in your retirement plan are being an active participant and contributing at least up to the amount that maximizes the employer's matching contribution. Look at the same scenario, but thinking about taxes. Kathy's employer matches 25 cents of every dollar she contributes, up to 6% of her total pay. That means if she made $50,000 and contributed $3,000 pre-tax during the year, the company will match with an additional $750 into her retirement account, making the total contribution $3,750. Put another way, if Kathy chose not to partake in the retirement account and pay taxes on that $3,000 of income, based on a 20% tax bracket, Kathy would receive about $2,400 in her paycheck after tax. But we know retirement account contributions are pre-tax, so Kathy has to ask herself, would I rather have $3,750 in my retirement account or $2,400 in my paycheck? Please call our team with questions.